Hi, in this video we're going to talk about Stumble Upon and using Stumble Upon as a social networking site to drive traffic to your website. Now, if you haven't used Stumble Upon or you haven't heard about it, Stumble Upon can generate large amounts of targeted traffic for your website or your blog. So, if your website or your blog has great content that people want to know about, then you'll definitely want to use Stumble Upon to get people to your website. You see with StumbleUpon you can not only generate the traffic that you need but it's great for allowing you to build lots and lots of backlinks from StumbleUpon visitors who have websites and it also allows you to establish a reader base for your blog very quickly. So with that said let's go to StumbleUpon.com what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Google.com here and you can see we searched for StumbleUpon. Now I'll come back to this later, but you'll notice that there are StumbleUpon icons uh, every time I do a search on Google. And I'll show you in a minute what all that is about. This is what StumbleUpon looks like. As you can see, it's a play on words here. We're, we're dealing with people who stumble upon different websites that have great content and people are interested in them and people stumble upon them, they can write reviews about them, they can send links of the site to their friends, and they can do so much more. And as you can see here, it says StumbleUpon discovers websites based on your interests, learns what you like, and brings you more. So not only is it a great tool to find sites that you might like, uh, but it's also a great social networking tool that allows you to find people who have similar interests with you. Now the big difference between this and MySpace and Facebook is that MySpace and Facebook are mainly sites where you you, know, you get to know people, join groups and things like that. And StumbleUpon is very similar but it's much much better focuses more on that marketing aspect. So if I scroll down a little bit you'll notice that we can see recently popular websites with StumbleUpon users. Uh, these are basically sites that StumbleUpon users have rated, reviewed, you know, and things like that. So let's say for example that you want to review your own site and you get uh, friends to review it as well. The more reviews you get and the more hits you get, uh, the higher you can get on StumbleUpon. Uh, but at the same time we'll show you a few tips and tricks uh, that you can use to get a lot of traffic with StumbleUpon. Now if you haven't used this before, the first thing that you want to do is you want to click Join StumbleUpon. And all you have to do is you have to fill out your email address, username and password, birth date, and information like that. And once you do that, it's going to forward you to a page to install the StumbleUpon toolbar. And whether you use Internet Explorer or Firefox, it'll work both ways. So we'll click on the download link here, and you'll see for uh, our sake, since we're using Firefox, all you have to do is click Add to Firefox, and of course it adds it. Install and just go through that process. It takes about one or two minutes to do, and it's extremely easy to do. Now, if you want to see the toolbar in action, you'll notice this toolbar right on my browser right here. So that comes to the question, how can you use StumbleUpon to increase your website or blog traffic? Now, if you think about it, you have a website, for example, and uh, what you want to do is you want to get the best quality content out of that website, because you only want to stumble upon the content of that website or of that blog that is the best and because of that people will see that and they'll say oh well this person must have a lot of other great content at their website so basically you want to pick and choose that another trick that you could use is to give something valuable away for free now when I say something free I mean something valuable something that something normally would people would pay for but instead of paying they would get it for free from you. So this could be in the form of a ebook, video, 
product, you know, piece of software, or even e-course that would be valuable. Because what you're doing is you're trying to build a readership, build a list full of people that are targeted on that specific niche. The more targeted you get, the higher your conversion rates will go up in the future. And one thing to keep in mind when you create your posts, uh, make sure that you put a link back to your site or your blog so that people can find you. A lot of times people will write you know, articles and this and that, but sometimes you forget the most simplest things such as putting a link back to your site because a lot of people will say, oh, I like this content, but how do I get more information? Because a lot of times we're focused on creating that valuable, great content that we have our names on it. We assume people can find us, but that's not the case. So you'll really want to remember that.